human underneath, and yet you don't know their identity, and that creeps people out. By calling him, you're essentially inviting him in into your life. How about that for scary? That's the viral video that started it all. Wrinkles the Clown became a social media sensation overnight, creating a modern day folklore even Wrinkles himself could not have imagined. One of the people whose attention that video caught was Brooklyn based, or could you take that down, thank you, Brooklyn based director Michael Beach Nichols, who was inspired to take on telling this story, and he joins us now. So, welcome, Michael. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. I feel like Wrinkles is always watching. There he is in the mirror. So what drew you specifically to want to tell Wrinkles' story? Uh, to me, it was just so bizarre that this clown character had exploded on the Internet uh, and received all these voicemails. Like, at this point in time, he has received over a million voicemails uh, from all types of callers trying to reach out and uh, make contact with this creepy clown. So I just thought it was a really fascinating yeah. internet phenomenon yeah, that and I you wanted heard, to explore. You heard from our viewers that they were most disturbed that a million plus people are calling Wrinkles to either discipline their kids, or I mean, some of them were just obviously to talk to them, but some <laughs> real calls to like, hey, take care of my kids. So to go through all these kind of voicemails was a complicated project, right? What, what were some of the obstacles? Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the hardest things was the fact that we were, you know, mostly reaching out to children. And so we just had a phone number and these, you know, wild voicemails. And we would just text these, you know, kids and say, hi, you know, we're filmmakers exploring uh, Wrinkles the Clown. You know, did you call that number? Uh, and a lot of people just immediately thought I was Wrinkles the Clown yeah. or, you know, thought it was a prank call. So that was it was really hard to get in touch with uh, the people that had left these voicemails. But some of them were really parents, right? Yeah, we found out that some parents uh, simply used the voicemail as a way to scare their their ch children. It was a threat. I'm going to call Wrinkles if you don't, you know, quiet down. And the kid, you could just hear in the background, just wailing and you know, in fear sometimes. Yeah, you know, and that brings us to the question from our viewers, right? A lot of them were asking why. <laughs> like some were really upset about why parents would call Wrinkles to punish their kids, and the lasting effects that that could have because that's a bit traumatizing. What's your take on it all? Uh, I mean, you know, for me as a kid, I, I really liked scary things. And so I think that had Wrinkles the Clown been around when I was a kid and if my parents had threatened to call him, I think, you know, I would have gotten a kick out of it. Um, I would have been scared, but it would have been this kind of exciting thing like, oh, who is this, you know, yeah. monster going to come and, you know, get under my bed. So, you know, I think it's, it's sort of a, a case by case basis. If your children... If you think your children, you know, like to be scared, I think that, that it's kind of fun. But, right. So um, obviously some kids were not able to handle it. Well, yeah. And here's the thing, because, you know, you start watching it and you realize, OK, like the whole scene when he comes out from underneath the trundle bed and the girl sleeping, you know, the whole thing. But that wasn't real. Right. Sorry to give some things away. Um, but the, spoiler alert. Uh, so but the other big takeaway was the effects of social media. Right. Because did you ever think that this would spread like wildfire? No, and it's, I mean, it's really interesting because I first heard about that sort of clown hysteria uh, before I even heard about Wrinkles. There were all those clown sightings all over uh, the United States and even internationally yeah. a bit. Uh, and then once we started diving into Wrinkles, uh, we learned, you know, that he was sort of before everyone else. That video came out in late 2014. Yeah. Uh, and so that really kind of sparked it. So, yeah, for me, uh, it was just really fascinating to see how this social media uh, really, you know, set fire to this, you know, the misinformation of, of what Wrinkles the Clown actually did. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of those clown sightings came around the same time there was that movie It, the first one was coming out, right? So everybody thought it was promotional videos for that movie, but it wasn't. It was just some creeps. Um, so we... <laughs> sorry, sorry, just being honest. So we want to bring in the team out. Sorry, you know, I'm being honest here. So, uh, so here's the thing. We're bringing the team right now for this conversation. Hazel saw the movie. First off, do you still keep in touch with Wrinkles, and what's he up to? Uh, yes, I do keep in touch with Wrinkles. I was actually uh, texting him this morning to let him know to uh, to tune into this, oh, uh, this wow. live interview. Mm, so I'm he's watching. <laughs> he's he's watching right now. Um, What's he but doing? He's doing, he's, he's doing great. He's actually doing a lot. Uh, he has his own website, and so he's been doing these uh, really creepy personalized video greetings that people can can oh. call and request. He's actually doing some Halloween parties mm. wow. this year. If you can, if you can believe that, he's showing up at Halloween parties and, and lurking around. So he's making uh, so a living he seems, out of this. 
Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty. It's I'm pretty happy with uh, you know the amount of yeah, work I, that he's getting now. It's really I think cool. Hazel had a, a really good question. I have a question about your directorial decisions here. Um, I was just curious as to why you started with an actor portraying wrinkles, only to reveal that that wasn't the real wrinkles, and then revealing you know the the true character of wrinkles. Why did you decide well, sure, to um, do that? Yeah, uh, as a documentary, you know, we're making a documentary, and so we really wanted to uh, basically, uh, you know, visualize what the myth that people believed uh, looked like. And what we found in our research was that a lot of people that we spoke with and a lot of people online thought that Wrinkles was this old retiree uh, down in Naples, Florida. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we wanted to show that visualization, uh, you know, and show basically the myth. We wanted to recreate mm -hmm. the myth of wrinkles mm. and sort of depict that. Uh, and so that was the way that we that we chose to Where does he so. live? <laughs> and how old is down, he? Well, uh, he's in his late 60s, oh, and he's down in uh, Naples, Florida. In Naples, oh, he really is in Naples, really Florida. I wasn't sure if that was the myth. Oh. Marisol or OG? I do have a question. Yeah, go ahead. You remember how you just said, um, Michael, that he's doing Halloween parties and he's doing appearances? How, how can people tell that it's the real wrinkles? Because if a smart person and an artistic person can make up that costume, is there some way people can tell? Because I can start a website tomorrow and say I'm wrinkles with the pictures and someone can hire me. Mm. So how can we tell that that's really wrinkles? Oh, that's, I mean, that's a good question. I, I, I think, you know, his voice is is pretty uh, mm. much out there. So you can certainly, you know, mm. talk to him and, and hear that very distinctive voice. Very um, so that's, I mean, part of the fun is just also not not knowing who's under that, you know, under mm -hmm. the mask. And I think that's is something it? that we the wanted to do. Right? Is it's it the fun? <laughs> uh, can you so can you tell us what he really, I'm, can he tell us oh, what he really yes. looks like? I want to know what he really looks like. No. No, you don't. Yeah, no, I, I have to, I have to protect my source. Can you put that uh, so, mask yeah, on, though? The, the mask behind me? Yeah, yeah I, have, I, I have. You want me to put that on? Yep. Do they mass produce that That's still? Poor man. <laughs> that creepy mask? He's like, oh he's like what, what he's is like, wrong? What am, what I, am doing? I doing? What I have I gotten myself into? I just want to be, and then, and then like, no worries, after you put I'll it on. It. After you put, <laughs> Talk like this. him. After you put it on, please just say, OG, I'm coming to get you. I, for real. <laughs> oh, even. my God. Do not that. even. See what I mean? Anyone can put on the mask. Do no. they Do they mass produce that ha that mask still? Or is it, looking for Halloween is it costumes. you? Is it really you though? Are you wrinkles? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not wrinkles. I'm not wrinkles. <laughs> okay. Where's he from though originally? Because he has a distinct accent. <laughs> He's from Naples. Florida. Oh, he he's cannot from Florida say. and he talks like that. He talked like he was from Brooklyn. Oh, I take <laughs> All right, before we go, did you play rugby Sorry, at Amherst? I lost that. No, it's okay. Before what? we go, did you uh, did you really play rugby at Amherst? Yes, yes, I did. I played at Wesleyan. I'm happy we beat you every year I was there. Great. Love you. Oh, Love you. yeah, yeah. Wesleyan's really good. Yeah, you guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that fun fact. <laughs> Director Michael Beach Nichols, thank appreciate you, Michael. you being here today. And thank you so much for coming on to really talk about this. Appreciate it. All right. So much fun talking Thanks to you. Thanks so much for showing the film. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. A reminder you can watch Wrinkles the Clown right now on Hulu. Not happening. There you go. Yes. <laughs>